Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I'm too quick. Can't catch me twerking it. Hello, nerdy lady. Hello, nerdy man. Hey, do you guys nerd for comic books? Shut up. I don't care because we do. We well, the answer is yes, of course. Well, we picked up some fun comic books. First of all, you have been a fan of Silk for years. Yes. Now. I love Silk. One of my favorite things about her is that her outfit is her webbing. I think that is so clever. Although there was one issue where she lost her magical powers. Oh no. And she became naked. Oh. <laughs> she got oh. naked. Yeah, so if she's used to the webbing clothes, she probably didn't even know how regular clothes work. No, she wears regular clothes. She's not a Neanderthal. <laughs> but she was wearing her costume when she lost her powers and she became naked and had to use a bush. <laughs> so this is apparently a new series as of when we're filming this. Uh, and you've got the first three issues. I do, yes. I've got one, two, and three. The, the What really caught my eye and made me decide to go for this one is this cover right here alone. It's all old Western. I love that. And everything. I haven't read these three yet, but I was flipping through there and like it looks like it's kind of set in different time periods. So I'm not sure if she's jumping through time. At one point, I think I saw a hospital bed, so maybe she's in a coma or something. Oh, interesting. But one of the things was she's got like this old like 1920s dress on that looks just like her costume. I remember you showing me yeah, that. Yeah, which is really, really cool. cool. Well, I picked up one of the latest issues of Creep Show. I love the series. Oh, love I love the show. movies. And then when the series came about, and then seeing the comics, I was like, oh, I've got to start collecting these yes. because they're too neat. And they always have a lot of fun with the covers, like his little puppet show that he's putting on here, which is great. Uh huh. And I also got Flesh Eating Cheerleaders, a holiday special. So, this, you know, that's what happens at Christmas, I guess. I mean, it is a bit of a uh, horny, horny comic, but. The title alone, it's like that, you know, super B cheesy horror <laughs> movie type thing. And it's set at Christmas time. What is it about like mixing Christmas or the holidays with horror that's always so fun and it always works? Because really it's well. always supposed to be like this happy time of year where you're celebrating things, you're getting together, all the bad stuff of the whole year is supposed to go away. And then you just like, you know, bad things like zombies or murder or something happens and it just totally wrecks what is supposed to be a beautiful time it, it works for me <laughs> uh, it works for both of us <laughs> although speaking of horror this cover of spider gwen smash that's a nightmare fuel right there mm -hmm. and i love the fact that they called her spider gwen again because let's stop trying to make ghost spider a thing that was a dumb name and everybody calls her spider gwen no matter what so i'm just glad that they went back to spider gwen it's not going to happen and I am a little behind on my comics because apparently she's had like three or four new releases come out since in the last couple of years. So I'm very behind on collecting her. I tell you what, just call in, <laughs> say, look, I've got some research, some reading to do. I'll be back in a week or however long. Yeah, it goes. something. <laughs> well, uh, my horny, horny pickups don't stop because I got some very indie comics. I saw these on Twitter. When I tried to put them into our app, it didn't I had even, no idea what they yeah, were. Yeah, it didn't know what I was talking <laughs> about. But these are big titty goth girlfriends on the moon. That's a mouthful. Sega had already said that he appreciates the cover of this one, issue number two. Correct. I would indeed appreciate that. And I still find it funny that after all this time of trying to get me to appreciate comics more and trying to get me to understand the vast world of comics and comic book reading, you didn't just f lead with that. Could have saved a lot of time. I really love this issue number three cover because you've got Mother Brain here and what kind of looks like Star-Lord. So it seems like there's a lot of humor, a little bit of parody mm -hmm. going on here. And it's always fun to kind of you know, support your indie comic book creators and everything. We try to do that whenever we go to conventions. So even online, <laughs> you can do that. And, you know, I mean, with a title like that, who can resist? So, there we go. Comics! Some comics. Do you nerd? I I'll listen now. Do you? Do you nerd for comic books? Horror stuff? Uh, inappropriate stuff? Silk? Spider Gwen? <laughs> stuff? <laughs> By nerdlings. By nerdlings. I am a working it. I'll be right back. Bye!